Hey guys, Sam here, uh, the kitchen and mattress platform guy, camp drawers. I uh, wanted to give you an update with where I'm at with these things. Uh, it's 2022. I released the, that video, the original video, a long time ago. And it's been a long year and a half. And I've learned a lot of things in trying to mass manufacture all this business. <laughs> so basically, first off, since my original video, I've received a crazy amount of interest in these kitchen overland uh, drawer build outs. Um, it turns out there was a huge market for it uh, that I didn't quite expect. Uh, and the next logical step was to pursue it and um, build a bunch of these. So you guys are interested in them and like, I want to get them out there. Um, make a little bit of money along the way. Turns out it's not that simple. It took a lot of work to get that first build done. And it's taking a lot more to do multiples of them. All the manual cutting, sanding, drilling, spraying finish, that, that, was, that was a pain in the ass. It's just super, it turned out to be super tedious and monotonous. Like I did it once to build the prototype, but doing it multiple, multiple, multiple times, just day in, day out, it, it really wore on me. I got burned out on it. By the time June rolled around, I needed a break from building. And honestly, the reason why I built camp drawers to begin with was to get myself an escape, go outdoors, go adventuring, and locking myself up in here in my shop for months on end was pretty much the antithesis of, of that goal. So that's where I've been. I've been out. <laughs> Before that, I did build a six, uh, did successfully build a handful of units, and those are actually out in the in the wild right now. And thankfully, my summer has been also filled with mountain peaks, lakes, streams, trees, twisty roads, and trails, and it's been it's been good. But um, now it's fall, and I gotta get back to the grind. It's got to I gotta finish out this initial batch. All these panels are um, for that first batch that I thought was going to be a pretty small scale of things uh, turned out to be a lot more than I bit off a lot more than I can chew. Uh, like I said, I had to take a mental sanity break, but I'm back at it now. Uh, just just want to finish these off. They just need to be assembled and have bed liner sprayed on them. And that should end this batch and officially end this phase of my business. Um, looking towards the future, I still don't really know which direction to take this. I've so far bought thousands of dollars worth of tools and invested over 750 hours into setting up the shop and, and building all these things. It's not being very cost effective from a business standpoint. But what I've learned over all this time is I'm really just an ideas guy. I am not a nuts and bolts guy. The monotony of just of, of building things while I can do it, it's just it just wears on me. It's just not for me. I do really love the design, the engineering, the prototyping of the first unit, all the problem solving that goes along with it. Um, but beyond that, it just became a time suck and it just really just turned into work. The irony of everything being that I still actually do have a full-time day job and I actually kind of enjoy it. So this side gig has pretty much just been kind of been taking up all my free time. Um, I don't really mean to make this video to complain to you guys and give me my first world problems, but just kind of just wanted to share for with those of you the, who've been patiently waiting for uh, your own set of camp drawers who've been wanting a set. Um, this is kind of where I've been at. I wanted to also see, uh, get some feedback on what you guys think, what should I do next? Um, here's one thing I do know, I did actually really enjoy the design aspect of them. Problem solving is really my specialty and I'd learned my, I, I taught myself CAD through all this. Um, that was fun to mess around with. I learned that the, really the only way of building these things at scale is um, with some form of automation. And I've learned, I've taught myself and learned a lot about CNCing, computer aided modeling. Um, I mean, I, I love my saw stop table saw 
and it's it's making really fast clean cuts but it's at the end of the day it's still manual and nothing beats just slapping a sheet on the table and pressing play so um, if i were to pursue this delivering a actual physical product would be to do something um, pre-cut uh, pre-finished panels on on a CNC, ship them out uh, as a flat pack situation for the end user to assemble, kind of like like IKEA, um, just flat pack furniture with good instructions and um, easy to assemble fasteners and make it pretty much idiot proof. That would require me to buy a full size CNC router table, which is like almost a twenty thousand dollar investment, and that would take a bit to recoup <laughs> and. I'm also running out of space in here. Um, those wheeled things, uh, they need a home and I like them to live in here. So who knows? Who knows on that one? I do like it. It's a lot of money. The other route is one that I probably really should have led with when I first getting interest for all of this. Um, and it's also something I'm 100% going to do once I'm done with all of this is to release DIY build plans. I'm about halfway there. I have a full precision model 3d model i have i have that i have the prototype that i've made a lot of adjustments to and tweaks to make it everything fit together better and just work smoothly so i want to share that with everyone um just to cut to cut out a lot of a lot of time spent thinking and brainstorming and, and designing it all and making it all all every every little thing fit just right um i just wouldn't feel comfortable releasing a product um either physical or digital uh without it being as perfect and professionally built as possible so uh i aim to release a detailed build guide in pdf format first and then later i will try to do a detailed walkthrough build video uh, detailing step by step how everything all the tools work all the I want to just basically make it accessible to everyone because everything it, it might this might just be a wooden box but it's a really complicated wooden box um, and everything has to fit in together pretty precise um, but I want to be able to break that down and just make it make it make it make it so everyone can have something like this and uh, so that I don't have to build it. <laughs> <laughs> Another avenue would be to respond to the um, the now many requests for uh, custom work for uh, SUVs like Sprinter vans, full size trucks, all your van build outs, um, and other all the other custom build outs that people have been um, wanting. Um, I've so far been turning down all this work because I originally thought that going into production building these things would be easier than uh, doing custom work, but um, after I got this one very specific, special, very special client of mine, I built a custom a kitchen for an RV unit in a super short time frame. It turns out I actually, I actually like doing the custom work more than I do the assembly and uh, putting things together. That specific client was rapper Lil Jon. What? Uh, it's for his show on HGTV. Uh, Lil Jon wants to do what? Uh, I'll link a card in the, in the up top there to uh, show you the custom build out for that. But um, yeah, that's about as unique as I could think of to do a custom build for it. I, I love doing the modeling for it. And it's, as far as I can tell, totally unique. Um, nothing like that in the market exists. The, the, the client uh, seemed to agree and uh, they're very happy with it. So, so that's where I'm at in life. Uh, my, so my current goal, my focus right now is to get all this wood out of my shop and into your trucks in the form of camp drawers. Next step will be detailed plans. Uh, YouTube really is the amazing resource for DIY and my most viewed video is by far and away that, that DIY uh, camp drawers build video. Um, didn't go into any detail about it but it was just following the build process. So I'd like to apologize to everyone who'd ask for more details on it, more plans and measurements and um, specs and whatnot uh, because that's really what I should have led with to begin with um, the communities uh, I, I've, I've benefited from from stuff like that just get a starting point I don't want to I want to provide something that's this is exactly how you do it beyond that uh, I don't know let me know what in the comments what you think uh, of my camp drawer situation um, at the end of the day I just really want everyone to enjoy the outdoors and comfort. Um, 
I'm not looking to get rich off of this this idea, these plans. Um, but if anybody's you or anyone in the Pacific Northwest might be interested in taking a crack at mass manufacturing this stuff, I'd definitely be willing to sell the company, uh, share any of my information for, for what it's worth. There's a lot of nuances to it. I got spreadsheets. I got yeah, the step by step, like every step of the way. A lot of pieces, a lot of moving parts in this. Um, yeah, so I, I'm 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 at the point where I'm definitely let it willing to to wash my hands of this, let it go. Um, if someone else is more interested in in taking all this and and running with it, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. I'd more power to you. So let me know if that's if that's the case. But otherwise, uh, I'm gonna get back to work. That's it for this video. Um, thank you again, everyone, for your interest and uh, your patience and your understanding. For those who want something more out of me, uh, I'm all over the place, but uh, I'll see you out there.